So welcome to another dancing dialogue. And of course, today we have beautiful Georgia here with us all the way from Spain and me in Peru. It's always beautiful to have that connection and that relationship. So I feel really blessed for all the conversation that we had today to get to know each other better. And in that we really found today we want to dialogue and dance on the magical relationship with self. So how would you like to take that off? What's your first step into that magical relationship with self? Well, it's like that song, Getting to Know You. It's about getting to know yourself, knowing how you react and behave and speak and say and do in different situations and allowing it. Mm -hmm. Just letting it be and not worrying about the comments, the looks, the who cares about those things? Just being you from the heart, it doesn't mean you can, um, you know, destroy other people, ruin other people, or damage other people. I'm not talking about those things, but expressing yourself, letting people know what you feel and what you think, yeah. that's a good thing. And also being able to share those talents with the people you're with. Yes. You've said it so wonderful. I don't think you think we need to talk more because you said it. <laughs> yes, the magic is in allowing ourselves to be from the heart, that uniqueness and that creativeness, the power to create and also the power to express. In the heart is no self-interest. There is no harm. There is no judgment. There is simply that joy of expressing who we are and share that with others. No, we're not islands. And what that reminds me of too, that is such a big theme for me. And, and it's beautiful how you just, how we ping pong, this is the dancing part. Mm -hmm. You know, we often, we often control our feelings. We often control how we act, as you said, just being yourself, how we act, how we behave. We try to control it because we don't feel we are good enough. We don't feel we will be accepted in an external world. We don't feel we fulfill expectations and labels, our favorite that we don't have. So how beautiful when we just accept that magic of self and dance in that relationship from the heart. It's and it's also, it's also about recognizing that, you know, we do make mistakes. We do say the wrong things. We do put our, our foot in it and slip on the banana and all this kind of thing. And, and why, why do you have to beat yourself up about it? If there is a need to apologize, to say sorry, to show somebody that you may have hurt in the process, your genuine, regret for hurting them in the best way that you can do at the time honestly yeah. and move on it's just a little thingy that's happening and, and it shows the strength of the relationship because when you are honest about a, a little boo-boo that you made you know the other person is more likely to say ah, it's nothing yeah exactly and this is not only in the relationship of course with our beloved this is in general Mm. people feel that we're genuine that we're from the heart if we say something wrong or make a mistake and we recognize that their reaction is not the way that we maybe felt it could be they accept it and they may say well it's all right i feel it's when we consciously try to do something bad to somebody consciously making a mistake of hurting somebody this is when it ends up in a mess. But there's two things. One, of course, is what we express, how we behave. And the other part is the energy that we transmit. And often yeah. people underestimate that. And you can't fake it because this is the true you. So if we are from the heart, it's not no matter what we say, but even if we slip something, even if it's not catching the other person at the right time, 
they will also forgive us because they feel the energy behind it. They recognize that we didn't mean it because it shows and you can feel it. You know, when you let that go and you, rec and you admit and recognize that you, you've hurt somebody or made a mistake or done something that was out of order, and you, you genuinely say, look, I was angry about something else. I'm sorry, I laid it on you. Yes. That person will, nine times out of ten, will respond well. And, you know, we get triggered. Oof. Life. And so sometimes it's like either the trigger speaks or or my sweetness. Let me put it this way, because I call mm -hmm. sexy sweetness. And I mean that. So sometimes when the trigger speaks, we are not in relationship with the heart. We are in relationship with that trigger that maybe hurts us or that maybe is annoyed or whatever. And when we recognize that and the other recognizes that, then you have an opportunity to evolve. And many things you don't have to come back to because you can go beyond that trigger. And I feel this is where the magic happens. We are so focused on labels, this behavior and the other behavior and whatever. But it's not about that. If we understand the trigger and what's behind it, and we nurture that relationship with self, and we are with others, when we make a mistake, it's an opportunity for both of us to grow and to evolve. So, yeah, I just, I just love that relationship with self and the magic. Because it's, un it's understanding as well that there's no point in beating yourself up about something you said or did, you know, if you, because all, all those guilt energies, feelings that we have comes from teachings that have absolutely either religious teachings or education or any or what your, your fa family said to you. None of it is relevant. None of it has any worth. We're wasting our time feeling guilty about what? Yes. And I feel this is also when we are too attached. Mm. You know, when the persona is so attached to be something that we're actually not. When I need to be this and that and the other. I don't have a relationship with myself. I have a relationship with all these titles and, yes. and labels. So I'm acting out of this role or this label that I'm carrying. But this is not really me. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know, for me, it's also, I, 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 I say it with a clean heart. I don't regret anything in my life. I've done some stupid things. <laughs> I've made some silly mistakes. I've made mistakes I've learned from, but I don't regret anything because I, I see some kind of learning in it or else I turn it into, you know what I did once? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Few of those I got. <laughs> yeah, so this is, really, this is really that relationship with self. To go on a guilt trip doesn't serve anyone. To regret is also not serving anyone. Mm. And of course, there's beautiful tools that go behind. So for instance, a Hopopono is not just about, I'm sorry, I forgive you, I love you. No, the first part and the meaning of Hopopono actually being in right relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you accept the energy that you put into something, the words, the foot that you put into something, and you take responsibility for your part, there's nothing to be guilty for. Exactly. It doesn't mean you're not responsible. Difference, big difference. But you are not guilty. And as we're getting into this relationship with self and it becomes magical, we of course also inspire others to be in that space as well so you will see that people show up much more authentic yeah true true to themselves 
because they know that we are authentic and so it gives them permission to be authentic yeah they feel more relaxed to be themselves they don't feel they have to stiffen up exactly <laughs> play a role or be in a label or a status that actually is not who they truly are so it is interesting that the magic of our relationship with self is not the I am behind the I am. It is just the I am. That whole being that is living, that has a body, that has feelings and senses and the emotions that maybe sometimes we hold on for too long, that has a lot of thoughts, that has a heart, and the other thing is have a connection to nature and the universe. And we also talk about the relationship with nature. When I'm in a relationship with myself, I can appreciate nature in a many, much different way. Absolutely. Yes, that, for me, that's very true as well. You know, if I get restless or uneasy about something or I feel my energy changes, I go into nature and there's something that's calming about it or even something releasing about it, especially if it's windy, you know, then if you feel the energy moving, uh, you can get into that as well. <laughs> exactly. And you can have this relationship with that being that you are with the energy and the harmony of nature. Yeah. So this is when I sit on the ground. We have very windy times at the moment, so it's very beautiful that you're saying that. And, you know, sometimes when you hug a tree, you consciously, you really have a relationship. You are just you, and there's a tree. And the name of the tree, or where it grows, or what it has, doesn't have any relevance. What I like to do is to listen when the wind is in the trees. And I know there's a message. I'm, I'm like, why are you whispering? Say it that louder. <laughs> I really get into the sounds of trees. That for me is like yeah, of magical. Course. That's a magical thing. It's a very magical thing. It's a musician because the music is not just the, the sound that we create with our voice or the instruments that we play it is also the whole environment so for me also the magic when we are recording one of the magic is that the animals are here or the wind is blowing or for me the surrounding the nature is part of the magic and as you said when i'm sitting or when i'm lying upstairs in the hammock which is outside on the veranda right next to a tree it's really like that. The trees are whispering and telling mm -hmm. all kinds of things. And it's like you're coming into harmony with this whispering and rhythms yes. of the wind. It's, it's very, very beautiful. Yes. It, um, it encourages movement in the body as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this magic is, is not about being in the ego, it's not about being only interested in self, it's actually the opposite. This magic and the relationship with self is really about being able to connect heart to heart with everything. Being yourself. Yes, and that makes such a difference when we, when we do whatever we do. We talk a while ago as well as, as Maybe sometimes we step into a role and we feel it's professional, but actually you're not stepping into a professional role. You are just stepping into your true self, into mm -hmm. this authenticity. And this brings us to the next part and allow yourself to shine. Yes. Not because you are so great, but that light that you carry, that talent that you have, needs to be shared shared exactly share it and let it shine and it encourages others of course to do the same this is the idea yes, absolutely yeah you, you set an example almost 
you're letting people know that it's it's okay you know to be that way to, to to look your best to feel your best to share your best and why not nature does it all the time <laughs> nature doesn't hold back so we are nature why are we holding back yeah yeah and that shining it's it's so difficult for some people to to admit their beauty to admit yes, their that's light true. but really this is the gift that you have what you're going to do with it suppressing it getting angry because you're not giving yourself permission to be that light and everybody has something beautiful about them everybody you know, sometimes you see people, you're scrolling through your media, and you say, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, whatever. <laughs> and and then, then you see another picture of them, and they're smiling or something, or they're with a child, or with an animal, or in the nature. And you go, my God, that's lovely. And all they need you to do is to recognize in themselves, the beauty in themselves. And it shows. Of and you recognize it. Yes. And it's interesting how we squeeze ourselves so often into a role or into a label that we think we need to be and we don't recognize that we're diminishing our own light yeah diminishing our light absolutely and as i said again this is not selfish it's the opposite if i shine my light it doesn't mean i take all the attention I actually give others permission to do the same. Exactly that, yes. So that relationship is also about empowerment that you and I love. Yes, encouragement, empowerment, um, sharing the vibration of enthusiasm, giving people, it's almost like, you can do it, go for it. Yeah. I don't know how you call that, but that's what it is. <laughs> yes, and if you are different, how beautiful. If everybody would be the same, how boring. And of course, we have that, the categories and the boxes. But imagine we just give people permission and encourage them to just shine their own light, if it's in a box or not. Or at least if it's in a box, then don't let the box be the limitation. So let yes, find the doors and windows and the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to break the box, it's also good. <laughs> Get out of the box. Yeah, I I really feel that is such an important thing, and maybe also in the context of the end of the year, when people are reflecting, when people are calming down, when people go a little bit within. I feel it's a beautiful way of reflecting to look at that magical relationship they have with themselves. Yes. In, in an open way, in a light way as well, you know, with light. Yes. Because it's not about, again, the guilt trip and why didn't I do that and what? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Stop, yes. stop that. Yeah. Stop that. And it's already gone. The past is already gone. You can't get it back. Can't change it. Mm. Harvest the good. Exactly. Take the harvest, but don't get stuck in the past. I think that's another important thing. We only really have now. There's nothing else. Yeah. We can't change those things. We have to let it go. And as, as I said, you know, I, I don't regret anything. I've made some wonderfully stupid mistakes. And I laugh about them now. You know, I think, oh my God, did I really? And it's it, it they're fun stories to share. Yeah. That's course, it. It's I, harvesting what I, I turn it into something that's now relatable and people can either laugh with me or go, Oh my god, did you really? That's it. You harvest it and find the good in it and so nobody you don't punish yourself. Yeah. Terrible thing we've learned from many religions is about punishing ourselves for things. Exactly. And rules and duties and all this kind of stuff. And that is not that is not the truth of who we are. As you said, I love that word, word harvesting. Harvest the beautiful thing. Harvest the learning. 
harvest the evolution, the new consciousness that you were able to get from this experience. And of course, for me, laughter is also a wonderful medicine. If you can mm. laugh about it and others can laugh about it, well, then obviously you are not angry anymore. And you'd be surprised at the number of people who will say, I did the same. Exactly. And I feel this is life. We didn't come here to be perfect. No. And anyway, what is perfect? We are perfect the way we are. Yeah. For me, perfect means that I'm conscious about what is happening, that I'm here and present, and I can observe, go within, and be here all at the same time. For me, that is perfect. And it's not stagnant. There is no, again, there's no box or label what is perfect. And everybody is perfect in a different way. When we allow ourselves, and of course, in your job, you have that a lot, I can imagine. It's very difficult to actually write a book and finish it, right? And publish it. It's work in progress. But we all need somebody. We all need somebody to push us along, encourage us, give us that discipline, that accountability in everything that we do in life. We all need something. To keep us moving on up, as they say. Breaking all these stories and rules that are stopping us from doing that. I feel that's another very important part. And you said it so beautifully. You just harvest and maybe you can laugh about it. Or maybe you can show your humility with it, which is also beautiful. Yes, that's another thing. And you can write about it as well. And Entertain can... other people. I think we, we're also very afraid of the idea of entertaining each other. And it's these stories that create that. You know, we have, a, a, we have a particular meaning for the word entertain. We think it's just celebrities and fancy people and famous people. It's not. We all entertain each other. We give each other pleasures. We share with each other the good, the bad, the ugly. We are entertaining, storytelling. Exactly. We sit around fires and do it. <laughs> yeah, we still do that. Sometimes we do fire ceremonies and it's all nice. about sharing stories. And yeah, I feel entertainment has a very negative connotation. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's like performance. But we're all performing from the minute we get out. But don't take that negative meaning. Dismiss that negative meaning. Find, a, find another word if you can. But every day we are performing to ourselves and to the world in the most beautiful way, in the most, in the best way we possibly can. Exactly. And so what's wrong with that being a performance? It doesn't have to be a performance for a gain or for a particular reward. It is just performing to be self. And as you said, entertainment has so many negative connotations. Shame, isn't it? You know, I have an example here. My mom, unfortunately, had to go to a home. It wasn't possible anymore. She's in Germany. It's not my favorite situation, but it is what it is. But once a week, more or less, we are going on Skype. So the people there in the home, they put her on Skype and we have a little conversation. Sometimes we have more of a conversation. But the most important thing for her is that I play my flutes. Uh -huh. And this is entertainment. I'm entertaining yes. her. Now, of course, she was the one who would sit by my side if I didn't want to practice music, <laughs> study music for 11 years from a very young age. So I'm entertaining her now. She doesn't have to sit beside me, make sure that I practice, <laughs> sit on the other side and enjoy. So this is also entertainment is a form of sharing joy and we're doing it now because the people who will watch will be entertained they will learn they will be interested they will pick something from it they will agree they will disagree they will laugh they will cry whatever yes so entertainment is actually a very important part of life it doesn't mean you're just sitting in front of a screen all the time and do nothing 
entertainment mm -hmm. is, as you said, being engaged, being encouraged, being inspired. Um, spark your own resonance. Oh, they said that, but maybe what about this? This is education and, 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 and entertainment. They even, I think, have a word now, educational entertainment or something. There's a word. <laughs> I feel that, that that has sense. When I was lecturing, I was entertaining my students, of course. Of course you are. Of course. And when we were on stage, we were entertaining. But I feel that the, the biggest magic happens, whether you're on stage or whether you are teaching or whatever, or being right here, is the engagement. Yeah, exactly. And it's taking that essence of that entertainment spirit into everything that you do. That is the key. So you know what it's like to speak to people on a stage where you engage and connect and you watch and you look and you give your three seconds to everybody in the room. You do that on screen. You do that here. Two years ago, I did a, on, I did a Zoom um, event in front of 1,600 people. Wow. And I was like this. I can't see you, but I know you're there. I'm engaging with them, you know. I can feel your energy and I'm looking around as though it's a big stage in front of me. It's called entertainment. Yes. <laughs> and entertainment is not somebody is up there and performing out of any context and with any audience, whether it's on a screen or whether it's live. It is a relationship. So we're coming back to the relationship. Yes, so is. the magic in the relationship with self is also then the magic that we create when we are on stage or on screen or just in our own situation at home or wherever. And, and that is so beautiful. And, and both of us have been artists on stage. So we, we, we know that excitement when you get on stage and when you connect to the audience. Mm, oh, it's magic. <laughs> But it is you. It's the essence of you. It's not the label as a singer, as a saxophone player, as a clarinetist, whatever. No, it's you. And I always admired also other artists, of course, who were able to get the audience in the palm of their hand. For me, as an artist, as an entertainer, or even as a teacher, and also as a tour guide, that energy to get them into the palm of my hand, not to control them, but to have that connection. And people do it through dance, through movement, through comedy, comedians. I admire them. Just the one person entertaining, but giving so much, so much, you know, healing medicine. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's also healing medicine. I mean, if I'm just standing somewhere and I do my thing and I'm not connecting to my audience. I remember when I was lecturing and I had my maybe over a hundred students, it was very difficult for me because I like to walk around and talk to my students, right? Yeah, yeah. And when I was teaching the bigger classes, it was very interesting because I did the same thing. I came out and I was running yes. around, making yeah. sure we are connecting and for me entertainment is also about connection yes i've done i've done that when i did mc work yeah of course make sure i i almost looked at everybody <laughs> <laughs> or gave them the feeling i was giving them the eye <laughs> and i feel that is so so important so i guess we're gonna leave that for others to ponder Yes, What's the matching of the relationship that you have with yourself, and how does it really bring joy, entertainment, encouragement, and I take it the next level because it's Christmas. How does it bring love into the world? And what is your final words? What are your final words on our lovely topic? It's about being generous. Be generous with yourself. Be generous with others. Say something kind. Smile. Be, be generous. Whatever little you have, be, you know. It's very often people with the low, the least who give the most. Yes. 
what a beautiful way to come to an end today and yet it's not the end because you guys out there make it your own find your resonance how do you relate where is your magic be generous because as you are generous the bounty always comes back to you yes. so dear georgia thank you for today thank you patrick i enjoyed it so much and we'll see each other again very soon and we see our audience again very soon too yes. thank you so much mm -hmm. take care